This is from Martha McCallum's interview with John Kirby yesterday, in which she mentioned that, the fact that, hey, you guys are okay with what Apple's doing in China, uh, but you say the national security threat is with Twitter here in the United States. Let me roll that tape and get your impression. Go ahead. Because we were just told the other day that the White House is keeping an eye on Elon Musk and Twitter. So why would you say that from the podium? You didn't say it, but Karine Jean-Pierre said it. And not call Apple out for helping the Chinese government to suppress their own people's ability to communicate. Again, I think we've been very clear and consistent on this, uh, certainly publicly. We've been very open about uh, our desires to be able to see citizens communicate. Uh, and, and, you know, Apple, uh, if this is a decision that they're making, then uh, they should have to speak to that. But uh, we, you know, we're not, we can't and we aren't in the business of, of telling private companies how to, to execute uh, their, their initiatives. Yeah, but Twitter's uh, but a private we, company, too. So why is Twitter getting one treatment and Apple's getting another is my question. Well, these are completely two different circumstances. Boy, Martha really nailed him, didn't she? She really did. And I, I also want to be clear that I don't want to be asymmetric in my concerns either. I have concerns about Tim Cook and Apple jumping to the tune of the CCP like a circus monkey. I have my concerns about Elon Musk as well. I mean, he has made comments in recent weeks about Taiwan that I found highly problematic, saying that it should annex itself as a special administrative region of China. But I think this is a broader problem with American capitalism, where China is deputizing American companies. That's the gun they have to the head of American capitalists to say that you can't actually do business in China or get favors from the CCP mm -hmm. if you say something unfavorable about the CCP. But I think it, it is preposterous to see the asymmetry of the White House's standards to be able to scrutinize Twitter, to be able to interfere with private companies, to tell them who they are supposed to censor on the Internet. That has actually yeah. happened when they actually look the other way when it comes to more favored darlings like Apple.